This is a tutorial on using the magnifying glass icon for both students and advisors. Whether it's you as an advisor logging in or a student, the magnifying glass icon can be found on the student course request page or the advisor course recommendations page. For the purposes of this demonstration, I am going to be logging in as a student. Click on the magnifying glass icon and it will pull up a pop-up window. If you want to look up a particular course, you can type that in, select a particular course, and then down below, look at the details. We can scroll down and see that there are prereqs that the student would need to complete. In another example, we can look up another course and if we click on list of classes, this is where you can see all of the different options. And if the student needs a particular lab at a particular time, they can select those. And then click select. Remember that these are preferences and only preferences. So the solver will try and get the student into one of these three lab sections first. If those don't work because those sections are full or they conflict with another course, then it will try the other sections, but it's going to try for these first. The other thing that you can do is type in a keyword. So if you wanted to look up all of the courses that have ethics in the title, you can do that. The magnifying glass is also where you can find the free time requests. So if a student has a job off campus or some other commitment, they can put in that free time request. And all you have to do is highlight those times that the student is not available. Hit select when you're finished, and that will go on to the course request form. Remember that free time request is considered like a course. And so if that free time request is at a high priority and there is a course below it that conflicts with the free time, the free time is going to win out. So it's always advised to put the free time as low as possible in the priority list.